Moving right along, another liar, just like Joe Biden, is Jack Dorsey. You might know him. He started Twitter. He said under oath to Congress that his company does not shadow ban people. Now, you'll know that a shadow ban is when you think you're reaching your fans, but they're just not seeing your posts. And you look crazy. You're like, I was more people were seeing my post last year. Nobody's seeing it now. Uh, what's going on? And people are like, oh, whatever, dude. You're just not as funny or humorous. This has happened to me. My YouTube channel is going up a thousand new subscribers a day and overnight <laughs> plateaued and it hasn't budged since. We call that a shadow ban because I can't prove it. You guys have to take my word for it. Why did it just stop growing out of the blue? Shadow ban. But when asked about a shadow ban, this is what Jack Dorsal Finn Dorsey had to say to Congress, which hopefully he goes to jail for this. Jack Dorsey told Congress under oath, Twitter was not shadow banning anyone. Well, something very interesting happened. A guy by the name of Elon Musk went through their files and found Dan Bongino, a very popular host, moderate to right wing. He's not a far left, so he doesn't get the free publicity, the promotions, the, the boosts on everything he's talking about. But his stuff just kind of flatlined. And look at what Elon shows you when he digs into the internal files. It tells you everything about Bongino, verified and active, but here's the yellow things. Notification spike. They want to make sure he doesn't get lots of notifications and they want to make sure he is on a search blacklist. That means if you're looking for his channel, oh, I guess he doesn't have one, you move on. A lot of people are passive subscribers to Twitter. Hey, I wonder if uh, Kayvon Comedy's on here. Oh, I guess he doesn't have a Twitter. So when you can't find the person, that is what's called the search blacklist. And then you go here, he's Twitter blue verified. And so they want to make sure that he gets a not safe for work view. So if a corporation or a bunch of people at work are on Twitter, they can't even find or click on his account. You're like, oh, whatever, Kayvon, who's Dan Bongino? This is happening to all of them. Look at Charlie Kirk. This is who I'm gonna go celebrate AmFest with. They wanna make sure he gets abuse strikes. They wanna make sure he gets a notification spike so that doesn't happen. And look here in the yellow, do not amplify. Mm-hmm. Do you know what that means? That means make sure we don't accidentally get him trending. We don't accidentally get him promoted. We don't accidentally have him getting amplified. So you know who is amplified? Anyone on the left, Rob Reiner, Kathy Griffin, Howard Stern, anyone, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Ellen, Jimmy Corden, Jimmy Trevor Noah, they're all gonna be amplified, but this guy has the list, do not amplify. So under oath, they asked him, do you shadow ban? And Jack Dorsey says, no, we don't shadow ban. Now they're asking him, why did you say that? He said, well, we have a thing called uh, view filtering and we have a thing called do not amplify, but we don't have a thing called shadow ban. So you guys didn't use the right term. Oh, Simon didn't say, ha ha, gotcha. It reminds me of Bill Clinton. I did not have sex with that woman. You got a BJ. Right, but you didn't say BJ, <laughs> you said sex. If you can believe that garbage, that is what the left has been doing for 10 years, making people like me gaslit, looking like we're crazy, where's my subscribers? But now you know the truth. Thank you, Elon Musk.